other day I did a video on the door seals and the problems we have with leaks, etc. And how to sort of basically fit a door seal. But the problems we have with the reinforcement here. Now, I did mention that how when, when the rubber is in here with a piece of reinforcement, I'll put a link in the video at the top about that video. Um, it's very hard to shut the door. It's very, very hard. But one thing I forgot to mention. There is in the Land Rover a little re reinforcement plate. Let me see if I can get to show you there. That little reinforcement bracket at the back. And that stops this panel from twisting when you shut the door. It's quite strong. However, because it's only got two screws in an alignment in, in line... It can crack this panel. I've seen it quite a few times. I've seen these crack because of the stresses on the door. Um, a little fix I do is, is well, uh, not well, but make a, there's a plate at the back, that, like for captive nuts, and I make a new one, but bigger, and then screw that plate onto the, onto the door frame. And just try and brace it up a bit to make it a bit stronger. And pick up off these bolts here, if you understand. So I'll, I'll put a plate in right at the back. Pick off these bolts and put a couple more bolts in there. There's not much you can do really. you can Because if you haven't got a TIG welder, well you're kind of stuck. So that was one thing. Also the constant slamming of a door tends to push these back over. And that makes the door rattly and loose. So by setting this, setting the latch up with the door with the seal off, you can get that really nice and flush. Tighten up your bolts, get the height right this way, and and the depth this way, and that's fine. But there's something I forgot to mention as well, which is another problem of water ingress. I want to go and get some tools. This is an absolute stock Land Rover. It's not been modified one bit. Nothing at all. But if you look at it, and they're all the same, when I put a level on here, you'll find the guttering runs to the front of the car, not the back of the car. So in order to lift it up to get it level, can you see there, look? That is level. And look at the height of that. Now to get it to run the other way, so water can run out the back, that's how high it would have to be. So, oops, it is. <laughs> Don't want to break that. I've had it since I was 18. Now, so, what happens is, water comes down this gutter here, and it's got nowhere for it to go, except down inside this seal here. It's got nowhere to go. Um... A, you know, a wise idea would be to make a little channel so you, then it would go down to the front. But it's just the design of it that we're trying to work against. It's a really it's sort of a bad idea because, as I mentioned on a, on a previous video, the seal that goes in this corner, especially here, it doesn't, the, the door doesn't sit like this, it pushes like this. So that seal becomes all compressed in the wrong direction. It's trying to push this way. Uh, you could probably see there by the action of that, it's, it's sort of pushing. It is, it is sort of compressing a little bit, but because of this action of this, this bend here, it, it's, it's really, really a bad place to stop leaks. So what I suggest is, if you've got your seal in here, get the old dum-dum out again. Where is it? Yeah. Get the dum dum in, and even if the seal doesn't fit exactly right, pack this up with dum dum, and then put the seal on. I'll try and show you that later when, because I'm going to do a video about these doors again, and um, we can see if it can work. And you can see here now, looking at this, you can see how this has aged a little bit, and the form isn't doing its job. And again, water coming down here. It's this. If it doesn't go this way, it's going to come this way. So you can't. You, you fight the losing battle. So water's coming down here, dropping into here, dropping into there, 
drop it onto your foot well. Also, you can see somebody's had to go putting some silicone on there, look. Can you see? Because, again, water coming down here gets into this seal here. Um, these are only little paper seals on there, but you'll find out that that will rust that, and anybody who's taken a Land Rover apart will know full well that these rust up solid inside there. They're very difficult to get off. So there's a little tip about water ingress. Um, I'll think of some more as I'm going along. Oh, I've just thought of one now. A lot of people get the Land Rovers nice and watertight and everything's cool and delicious and great. But if you have a look inside the Land Rover, I'm going to see if I can see it. Yes, you can. You see the channeling on the top of here? It's like a gutter. All right, you can see that bit there. This is like a gutter, just like this. And there's a, the, the roof is attached here in the middle of that gutter. It's almost like a T-section in cross-section. But what happens if you've got a leaky um, seal on these uh, Alpine windows, which is kind of common, then water can come in from the top. It's resting on the top. It's got nowhere for it to go. And it sits inside this gutter. What happens? Well, that gutter goes all the way to the front of here, look. And it drips down here. Now, you think it's leaking out of here. But when you sit and look in the car when it's raining, you will find it's coming out of the inside. And then it's dripping down, drip, 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 onto your carpet. Another place that's a kind of a very common leakage point is this seam here. Now I've had these go quite often, get water into the top. And right on the very roof up here, you'll find that water can get pushed along by the, the action of the car and the rain going this way. Gets pushed under this seal. Now you can put some uh, white dum-dum or corking, uh, or if you want, put silicone, but silicone looks nasty. You can get some sealer into there. Um, you know, you're, you're, you're halfway there. You, you want to seal up as many gaps as you can. Um, where else do they get water in? Well, where do we stop? This is, this is going to be bigger than Ben-Hur, this video. I only thought it would be two minutes. The windows. The windows get water in because these channels here block up with dirt and debris. And so the water's got nowhere else to go and it flips over the top inside and rots out. Now, whilst I'm thinking of it, one of the biggest problems that I have is when people fit roof racks onto cars. I hate roof racks. I absolutely hate roof racks because in winter they're a bugger to get the snow off the roof. So the roof rack either clamps onto here or it bolts onto here. But because of the position of the window, there's usually a clamp just about here, or here or here, it doesn't really matter. What that does in effect, it acts like a dam. So water comes down here, because remember I said this is at an angle, jumps over the top of the uh, gutter and comes down into here, over the top and inside the back. It's really common. Um, What's the fix? I don't know. Don't put a roof rack on. I, don't, I really don't know. But it, it really is a problem. That, that, like I say, the water's, water can't go this way, so it comes down here. Uh, I've, I've looked at all sorts of Land Rovers over the years and seen many, many, many problems. I think they were only designed for Africa, really, <laughs> because it, they always leak. The back door seal isn't really a problem because there's no, no bends. Or, well, there's bends in it. But there's no difference in uh, height and, and or width. So it's just a one-piece seal. And they, de they tend to be quite nice. They, because of this uh, gutter here, uh, it doesn't really matter if the seal doesn't touch too much. You see there, it's touching there, but it misses here. It's not a big deal. These very rarely leak. Very rarely leak through those. Um, so I think there we've covered just about all the leaks we can think of. If I think of any more, I'll let you know, but uh, I'm going to do a video today about uh, taking the window out and replacing the um, window runner seals. I was asked this on YouTube the other day to do the window seals, 
and um, this window in here is very very rattly these seals have got no uh, nip on them at all to stop the window rattling about so today I'm going to do a video on how to take these seals out and how to replace them without any tears all right so watch out for that one now if you like that as I say like and subscribe and we'll uh, keep on doing some more videos and just write to me out if you've got a problem or if you've got a question just write and we'll uh, we'll see if you can put that right okay see you later